Uh, Marcus Williamson is a, is a fifth year. At Ohio State, he played in 46 games. He had almost 70 tackles while at his time at Ohio State. He made it clear uh, that he um, was no longer playing football. I don't know if he's going to declare for the NFL draft or not, but you know his role was reduced, especially this season, um, with the emergence of, of um, Denzel Burke. Denzel Burke is a, a guy who looks to be one of, another great defender coming out of Ohio State and potential, has the potential to be drafted really, really high. Um, and any time, obviously, obviously you've seen the struggles with Ohio State's defense this year. You've seen, you know, a lot of young guys get some playing time. We've seen Josh Josh Proctor um, be injured uh, um, this season. And obviously, you know, we've seen guys in the past, you know, transfer for various reasons, you know, due to playing time or just their experience at Ohio State. And just here, um, he's a fifth year. You, you see a young guy on this team, a lot of young guys playing, and one of the guys – basically taking his spot in Denzel Burke. Um, Denzel Burke is the better player. Um, so his role as the season went on basically got reduced, and, and, and it can be very frustrating. Um, for me, I'm a student at Ohio State, uh, so I can only speak on my experience. But, you know, t- you know, with his experience, basically he had, you know, you know Ryan Day is basically relatively a, a, a new head coach. Um, so – things are a little bit different and there are guys on this team that were there you know with Urban Meyer during Urban Meyer's time at Ohio State and then there's guys that are you know Ryan Day's guys where Ryan Day recruited him when they when he was the head coach um so obviously anytime you have that situation going on there's a difference of how things were ran and you know he was probably promising things you know under Urban Meyer and then Urban Meyer, obviously, you know, ups and retires, eventually joint, you know, leaves. And then you have Ryan Day as the head coach, and he's probably promising some, you know, guys some stuff. And then, you know, you have a transition. You have new coaches in. They got, you know, um, a linebacker. Even though he doesn't play linebacker, got a linebacker's coach from Michigan. And there's obviously a lot of transition when you're at a program like Ohio State. And he, you know, went to social media during social media yesterday, and he – he basically discussed, you know, what he didn't like about Ohio State and specifically what he didn't like about Urban Meyer, the things that Urban Meyer did and the things that Urban Meyer said. Um, one of them was um, basically he didn't like being told what to do versus like smoking, you know, W-E-E-D, basically saying things that Urban Meyer said and things that Urban Meyer did and – He's coming out with him now, and that's that. That's his experience. Like I said, um, as an OSU student, you know, I, I enjoyed my experience at Ohio State even be, before going there. And uh, obviously, you know, you have class with athletes and stuff. And he didn't like, you know, when he was a freshman, he had to get up at five a.m. in the morning, you know, to work out and then have an eight a.m. class. You know, versus like the rest of the team, they got to come in at 6 a.m. So if I have to be in a weight room at, say, 6 a.m., obviously I'm waking up at, you know, at 5 o'clock, you know, and then still having to go to class. Versus being a freshman, I have to, you know, come be at the weight room at 5 a.m., which essentially you got to get up at 4 a.m. Again, you're playing Division One college football at the highest level. You're coming to Ohio State. There's a lot of expectations. You know, and he didn't like having to basically get up at an hour earlier before the entire team and having to practice. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell him. Maybe maybe they didn't tell him that when he got recruited, you know, what time they were supposed to work out. But you're a freshman. Obviously, maybe you need an extra hour. I mean, obviously, scheduling. Ohio State is a, is a very high standard academic institution. And... It's very hard to schedule classes at Ohio State. I'm telling you as a student, it's very tough. You know, we have so many students that come here that it's like, I don't know, it's like, it's like, I don't know, like playing a lottery. I don't know if you buy shoes online. You know, you buy shoes online. You, it's like you're trying to put it in. You don't, you're not guaranteed to get a shoe if you buy shoes online or, you know, you're waiting for something. It, it's basically like that for every single class at Ohio State. And scheduling-wise, it's like, 
you don't always get the right time. You know, everyone's, you know, aiming for a certain spot that a, a course is taught. And, you know, obviously it's seniority at Ohio State, so seniors go first. So him being a freshman coming in, he's got – he doesn't get his pick of the litter. He, he's basically in the crumbs of whatever class is left after every grade, every level pick before him. But that's how it works at Ohio State, and he's mad that he has to – wake up at 5 a.m. or go to weight room at 5 a.m. and then go to class at 8 a.m. He's saying he can't use his pencil because he's, you know, that's what, that, that's what it is. But, you know, to talk about Urban Meyer in a way, that's his experience. And obviously, you know, there, there are advantages and disadvantages of being a college, you know, athlete, especially at Ohio State. And people do things different ways. And he basically didn't agree with how Urban Meyer did, did things. You know, now Ryan Day's in there. He didn't really go. He didn't go at Ryan Day. Um, Ryan Day does things obviously differently. You you heard Joe Clyde even say um, he came to Ohio State when Urban Meyer was here. It was like walking on the eggshells. He comes, Ryan Day's here. It's a little bit air, more, a lot more excitement. You know, Urban Meyer's a tough coach. And he, you know, being 17 years old, you know, you, you can come to um, Ohio State a semester early if you want. Early in row, you can, you can do like Quinn Ewers come a year early and, you know, being that young of an age at 17 years old when you're, you know, basically a top prospect and everything's handed to you, when people say things a certain way, um, you're not used to that. And for him, he, he just wasn't used to the way that Urban Meyer talks to him. He didn't like it. He didn't like some of the things Urban Meyer did and some of the rules that he had. And he went to to social media and to, to, to paint Urban Meyer in a bad light. And obviously Urban Meyer with the, the Jacksonville Jaguars is going through – I mean, that experience is enough. So, I mean, so many people are going to just say that's Urban Meyer who he is. You know, Urban Meyer has a past of doing things how he did it. And I'm I'm not going to defend Urban Meyer or uh, Marcus. They had their experience. Each player experience is different. Each student, you know, be, being a student experience is different. And he's just telling his side. But, I mean, I mean, you're coming to Ohio State. So, I mean, 5 a.m., I understand it, it's kind of hard, you know, but you, but you have, but this is you're trying to get to the next level. You get a degree from Ohio State, that's good. But uh, even if you don't get a degree, you can get to the league in three years. And you have a tough, tough coach like Urban. I don't necessarily know what to tell him. And uh, he said that he's done, basically done playing football. That's what he put on social media. I don't know if he's going to get drafted, you know. But now all of this is coming out. Denzel Burt, freshman, taking his spot. Um, Obviously, your fifth year, you're trying to ball out to go to NFL. That's not happening. You know, Urban Meyer is basically low-hanging fruit, so he comes out th- with this right now. It would be interesting if he would have came out this with a couple years ago or when this first happened, but he didn't. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry. That's, you know, at 5 a.m., that's tough, an hour earlier than everyone else on the team. But you're a freshman. No one else complained about it. But his experience is his experience, and, you know, Wherever he goes in the future, I don't know, but that that's that's his experience. It's tough, you know. Then you, I mean, obviously you going to Ohio State, Eddie M class, you know. It's hard, but this he's seventeen. I don't know. He probably wasn't prepared, you know, to deal with a coach like Urban Meyer. But you signed up for this, and this is what you wanted. And and no one forced him to stay at Ohio State. He got a transfer too. You've seen guys transferring at work out. Joe Burrow transferred. Jameson Williams transferred. And they didn't really have – they had, didn't have any negative things to say about the program. This is the, the first time, especially Urban Meyer. You know, a lot of people in the, in the NFL have problems with him. But that's his experience, and his experience is his experience.